The sun is random. This is the first time the sun is, has shined today. Check this out. I literally just pressed the record button and it's blazing. What? The sun is now behind the clouds again. And I miss her. I miss her so much. But I just wanted to pop on the beginning of this video and let you know that my shop is opening. I'll put the I'll put the dates right here on the screen. I have an early opening for my patrons. So if you see this before my shop opens and you've been eyeing my large prints I've been teasing for like months, I would recommend joining my $1 tier just to get that early access. My patrons tend to buy out a lot of my stock when I give them early access, so just be warned. But yeah, I'm really excited to have my shop open and I actually love this video I made. It's really sweet and calm and it's really pleasant. It was really pleasant for me to edit, so I hope that you enjoy it. Uh, give me a thumbs up. Comment down below what you're doing while you're watching this video. I'd love to know. I, I'm, I love knowing what everyone does while they watch my videos. Um, and subscribe to my channel for more content like this. You're two minutes in, baby. Um, but welcome. Happy to have you here. I'll see you at the end of the video. Hey, um, hi. It's October something. October 25th. I, I did this painting yesterday. Let's, let's chat about that. I did this painting, I was in a terrible mood, and I did this. I left it, and I had to go to lunch. One second, let me turn off my heater. I was just like so grumpy, and I also was grumpy because I feel like I don't make enough art. I'm kind of scared to make it, which makes me upset because I feel like it needs to be shareable and also like it's part of my job so I have some weird relationship with it where like it f it feels like work. Um, so I sat down and I was like, I'm gonna paint on this canvas I have. So I did this, it has these cute pink borders just cause underpainting, but I left it and I went to lunch and I was like, maybe when I come back, I'll decide if I wanna work on it some more. Because if you don't know, my like, thing with painting is that I always like the beginning stages and I don't like the finished stages of paintings. Like I love when you can see the underpainting and it's like loose and really like tactile brush making, brush, brush marks, mark making feel. 
I don't feel like I know if I want to work on it some more or not. My gut says leave it, it's fine. Because I'm just trying to like get into a headspace where I come into the studio and I'm like, let's paint something. I'd love to like integrate being a painter into my job where I feel like I'm more of like a sketch person, which is fine, but I'd rather be like a painter. Am I gonna follow through with this? I don't know, is it just an idea? Like a passing idea, maybe. But I did make this and I do think it's cute. I really like like this area, these colors together, like with the sagey color and the light blue, the greens and this corally red color. I like that. Um, I think it's a special little moment. I also like how I did the background all like um, painterly. Anyways, that's all I have to say about that painting. But this is why I actually started recording. I ordered these stickers and they're gonna be the November Patreon sticker and I can't with these. The little star is, is glitter. I don't know if you can tell because the sticker's shiny, but the little star that the demon baby's looking at is sparkly. Can you see? One, I love this illustration. I think it's so cute. And then with the glitter star, it's just so cute. So I'm gonna do this as the sticker for the Patreon reward. And then in my last video, I, I painted like a jar of tulips with a little red little demon guy like this sitting next to it. And that's gonna be the postcard and it's gonna be a little demon theme, I guess. Um, just keep the spooky season going throughout November. I don't see why not. I ordered those yesterday or maybe the day before. I don't know, but it's gonna be so cute. <laughs> it's gonna be cute. I can't, it's so cute. You, what I bought recently, it's still the past like a few months, so it's not like over the past few days I got all this stuff. It's, I don't own any art books, and I feel like I should own more. Um, and it's just nice to have. They're also a business expense, so it's just like, I should start getting more art books. So, behind the scenes, inspiration. Phew, and now a word from our sponsor, Pila. Pila makes phone cases in all sorts of colors. Also, they're compostable, which is crazy. Use the link in the bio below or code Lee to get 40% off for the first 50 people and 25% off for everyone else. Thanks, Pila, for being awesome. Ah, phone cases. Trees. I like them actually. I thought we would miss the prime, but I kind of like this brown thing. Right. Brown and yellow thing. We definitely miss the orange and red though. Yeah. All done? All done. Wow. Oh, look. We should get a picture in the middle. Yeah, let's do it. Cart coming my way. Look at these. 
They have moss on them. New box. Look at this. So cute. Pristine inside. It's pristine. Welcome to my box collection. the amount of packaging they put on these made them more damaged because I had to try really hard to get them out. Yeah. It's crazy. What, I don't know what they thought was going to happen in that box. <laughs> Someone was going to beat it up yeah. hard. Or shake it to see if like, they fit what's inside. Yeah, maybe that. Right. They fit. Are they all going to fit? I think so. That's all of them? Yep. Yeah, that's pretty nice. That is satisfying. I have rubber bands if you need some now. I don't. Oh. They're black. Oh, never mind. They're cool. I think it's crazy how inconsistent my handwriting can be. Mine is really inconsistent too. Is it? Mm -hmm.
stuff to uh, ship it, and then get them out in your box by the door. Cool. Good morning. It's um, November 4th. It's Friday. My heat came on, but I don't think it's actually gonna come on. It's gonna do this like power up thing and then it's gonna turn off again. Yeah. Um, hi. I'm, I stopped and got a, um, a spontaneous latte today. And I'm gonna be honest with you, is it that good? No, it's not. It's not that good. I, I'm, I'm really picky about oat milks and it depends on what oat milks coffee shops use. And this particular coffee shop always has different ones so I really don't know what I'm gonna get. I don't know what they had today. Do I like it? No. Am I gonna drink it? Maybe half of it. So that's where I'm at. It's like a crispy fall morning, but it's gonna get up to like 75 degrees today, which is kind of wild. But I'm gonna record my Patreon podcast for the month. I've been really enjoying making the podcast every month. I didn't think I would ever be a solo podcast girl, but making them for Patreon versus making them for everyone, really, really, it works well in my brain. It works really well and I have a lot of fun making them. I think it's because I, I know that most of my patrons stay up to date with me, so I don't feel like I'm sharing information that won't be understood. Like, I don't have to do a lot of extra explaining because I feel like my patrons kind of keep up and they know like who's who and what's going on, so that's kind of nice. Second, I got the Patreon rewards for November. Um, I got the postcard yesterday-ish, and it's so cute. It's been a while since I've made a Patreon reward where I'm like, I really actually like this one. Um, I love them together. They're so cute. Look at them. They're an unbeatable couple squad babies. Um, I love them. I'm thrilled. I've been ordering things lately and they just haven't been, been working out so well. So I was really excited when both of these came and they're cute together and separately. So it's pretty thrilling. It's pretty thrilling. flower and then I just look through all the pictures and I don't see it. It came with the bird. Oh maybe I, it's only in the secret shop? Huh? I really thought I sold that one but it hasn't been in the secret shop. You have shop. a ton. Yeah maybe I never put it up. I'll just write down the total. Or they should be like a doctor. 
they should be a dollar. You have so many. Yeah, I think I actually restocked too many of them once. Remember that? Yeah. Yeah, put them on sale for a half price or Wow. So this is the commander. Yeah, show me the original one. What is he wearing? Uh, it came out for... He's wearing like samurai stuff. Oh, it came nice. out during like a ninja version of things. Here's the other one. Wow. Is that a rat? I can, it's hard to tell. I kind of see now. I see the little teeth. Yeah, there's the head and the arms. I see. Yeah, rat rogue. You want that one, huh? Okay, show the ones we just looked at. Okay. So. So James is trying to make a rat deck. Potentially. On the Magic the Gathering topic again. There's this perfect one. And the way this card works is you have a bunch of them in your deck. And you can have as many as you want. Look so you, at how cute it is. Look you, at the orange. Look at the lanterns. Like, look so at the one would, in the back. Look at the one in the back. You'd have 25 of these in your deck. So every fourth card is this. <laughs> this one's look holding a leaves. pumpkin. <laughs> this is good. Okay, now show the one that you want, but no, isn't scary. No, I though. don't want this one. I don't want this one at all. Look. If I have to choose between the two, it's the other one. But okay. I want a scary, nasty rat. Look, MTG, nasty rat. What's this? This? Half squirrel, half something. I don't know. Okay. Like, look at these. Bog rats. Yeah. That's gross. But I feel like a sense of variety in the rats. Look at this rat. Cool. Does he have like a full on I don't know. Mouth? He's gross. Where do you go? There. He's right there. Yeah, he's got a full on. Look at these rats. I see. And I think that this plus the cute one would be nice. Well, the thing is, it's mostly the cute one. Yeah. I want it to look like this because I want the deck to be gross. Why? How about this? I have an idea. Technically, I can make the whole deck. You can make a proxy, which is a fake card. And I'll use this really nasty picture for 24 of them. And then one of them, I'll make the lantern one. Okay. That seems like it's more fun. Because then it will be like a roulette. And a real big contrast. Look, this versus this. That's amazing. Versus this. So you're just going to use the zombie I'm rat? I'm going to use art? this art. I think it's a great idea. You know what I think. Lee, like, I can't have 25 of this. Why? First off, they're all $7. Okay, what about like a proxy of a picture of an actual rat and they're all holding like different fruits and stuff? No, <laughs> I'm not going for that vibe. You know I'm going for this vibe. Nasty. You're giving rats a bad name. I love rats, honestly. I think they're some of the nicest creatures. They're so like dogs. Why are you doing this to them? <coughs> <laughs> Sorry. I... Okay, it's... What time is it? It's 5.30. Same day. I feel like I've been filming a lot today. But I just finished packing up all of the Patreon... Um, all of the... I just need to move this up a little bit so I'm not hunching, you know? All of the Patreon postcard rewards, I stuck the, wait, I printed out the addresses. I cut the addresses. I stuck them on the envelopes. I filled the envelopes and I put a stamp on them. Like they're ready to go. I don't know how long I've been doing this. This particular task, filling Patreon rewards is like, I don't know what to compare it to, but it's that feeling where you start it and you can't stop it. I don't know what is comparable to that, but like something about finishing, like just the postcard tier is like, I can't stop. I can't stop, which is fine. Um, I used to do the postcard tier and the sticker tier all in one day and just like really <laughs> work really hard to do that. Um, but lately I've been taking it easier or having James do it, but honestly, I really like packing the Patreon awards because it's such a repetitive, easy on the brain 
um, task as compared to making art or designing something or figuring something out logistically. Log Why did I say that so weird? Logistically. Yeah, I just, I can't believe I did that. You wanna see them? I'm finishing up my green envelopes and uh, moving on to the blush pink, which I showed a second ago. And they're so cute. I'm so excited to be moving to a new color. Also today I packed a couple prints for some mutual art friends who have sent me little goodies and stuff over the years. Like people are so nice and send me such nice care packages and always send me their things from their shop update. And I'm just sitting here like, I don't even make products to send back. But I packed up a few of my bigger prints I made. I'm gonna ship them out. I'm pretty excited. I am pretty excited. I, I am getting very close to the shop update. James has been inventorying all the stickers today. He's not done yet because there's just a lot of stickers. I think the shop update is just going to be the big prints and stickers. So I don't have to figure out like shipping postcards and the prints because my postcards won't fit in the mailers that I'm putting the prints in. So I'm not going to have any postcard sets in this shop update. I'm gonna use um, my art mutuals as test dummies, not that they're dummies. And I wish as my guinea pigs, there we go. Let's change it to guinea pigs. I'm gonna use my art mutual mutuals. <laughs> I'm gonna use my art mutuals as guinea pigs for my packaging. I I admittedly like made some really ugly packaging for them, but we're just gonna see if they get their safe. That's mostly what I'm concerned about. I sent a couple to Radia a little while ago with a box that I had laying around and they got their safe. So we're gonna test out some more internationally and, and within the US, so it should be cool. There's some squeaking outside. Oh, it's over. Anyways. I think I'm gonna uh, clean up and go home. It's Friday. I have no plans, but like I feel like I should leave work. Cheers.
Do you want to see the finished product of the painting I just did? Because I didn't really show the full thing. I think it's so cute. <laughs> I love this painting. When I was painting this, I was thinking, this isn't good. And then I put the black gray background on and I was like, I love it. Um, so here it is, it's my little farm painting, very special. Really proud of myself for all the art I made in this vlog. Um, been really, really into the art making and I don't expect it to stay because it typically comes in waves, but I have enjoyed it while it's been here. But thank you so much for watching this video all the way to the end. Again, my shop is opening November 21st. I kind of promoted the prints at the beginning of the video to um, let everyone know that they're getting into the shop because they're the new thing, but I have loads of stickers um, that probably won't sell out because I have so many. I also have all of my old prints on sale, some pencil sets, um, so yeah. If you want to buy yourself a little couple stickers or whatever, um, I'll put all the info in the bio and I want to give a big shout out to my little puppy patrons for supporting me. I have had the luxury of being able to prep for the shop update for ever because my patrons give me a very consistent income and support and love via the internet. So it's very cool. Thank you so much, little puppies. Um, I'll talk to you in my next video. Thanks again for watching. Give me a thumbs up, comment what you're doing below, subscribe, I don't know. And I'll see you around. Peace. Peace and love. Bye.